Hi and welcome to How to Use CAD. For today's tutorial we're going to take a look at Juliet balconies which have become commonplace on UK loft conversions in recent years. In today's tutorial you will learn about the key features and most importantly how to fix a Juliet balcony so it meets safety regulations. <music> Yes, uh, Juliet balconies, um, they're great add-ons for, uh, for a loft conversion. Um, you know, the idea of opening up those French doors and uh, into a nice open plan loft is uh, fantastic. Um, the problem is that over the years, and I've spoken to lots of people and uh, I get calls about best way of fixing the Juliet balcony. Now on this example, for this detailed section, um, we've created um, a mock-up of uh, a basic dormer with a couple of French doors and uh, some uh, tiles on left and right. Now it's easy enough to fix um, the Julia balconies if we onto timber or onto rendering and so on but when it's say um, a tile finish it's a little bit different so what we've done here is uh, <clears throat> this is just standard uh, in fact, it's above standard. It's a, it's a pretty decent uh, dormer front wall. Uh, and you're finished in tile <coughs> or slate. Uh, but what we're using here is uh, M3 12mm bolts, which are basically uh, fixed from the inside out. So basically, uh, you drill through from the inside, drill the whole way through, put your bolts through, uh, and they're going to go through the, the 4x2 or the 6x2. They're going to go through uh, your plywood. They're going to go through your uh, cement board, whatever it is you're using here. Uh, support batten right through the tile. Now, it's really important here is that you get a couple of rubber washers at this point uh, because and thick rubber washers because when you tighten up, you don't want to break the tile and, and that does happen when the builders are fitting that happens routinely the problem is your tile is not uh, flush it's not it's not 100% uh, uh, vertical so it's slight a slight angle but so it really is important uh, to get a, a few thick rubber washers there so that you can get a uh, reasonably tight fixing without compromising the tile uh, this is a nut here uh, here you have a a steel washer and this is meant to emphasize the bracket on the uh, the balcony so again uh, this one it's fitted uh, just a fraction uh, below us or at the bottom of the sill or the threshold on the French doors uh, what's important is that the height of the French doors uh, sorry the height of the Juliet balcony should be from floor level at least 1100 high uh, and that's for obvious reasons. So 1100 is the height from the bottom of the floor. You wouldn't want it any less, so otherwise it won't meet the regs and chances are you'll have to remove and redo. Um, what else can I tell you? Yeah, the gap between these bars, uh, in some cases, I think they'll allow up to 100, but what they're looking at is, if we look at it here, 1100 in height, and again, I generally specify 90, 90, uh, 90 mil between these two. That's, that's the gap uh, for anything like that. Uh, staircase, spindles, uh, balustrade, uh, little bars, and on this balcony. So the gap here is 90 mil, no more. Don't make it more than that. That's my, that's my view. So the two key important features here is that you make it 1100 from the interior floor level and keep this at 90 and make sure the fixings uh, you got one two you got four fixings and they should be done properly but ideally from the inside and then uh, you build with those fixings sticking out and they get all the tiles on etc etc and then it's a question of just hanging the balcony and getting the nuts and washers on correctly. Now, this one I've actually completed, so there's very little to do, but to give you an example of what the breakdown is, um, uh, it, it was a very, very simple one to do. Uh, 
So all it is is a set of French doors, a few tiles, and then uh, you can make your balcony up as you go. But uh, I'm not sure if I should be uh, doing uh, a balcony again. Uh, I, I, I don't think there's any point in me spending another hour on this video. Uh, because these are all simple elements so you've got um, your French doors one they're easy to do a pair of French doors in a frame standard height uh, just getting a, a box section which you uh, fill with tiles and again get the get the um, sizing right so that it reasonably uh, projects the size of the tiles uh, left and right then the balcony should be a little bit wider than the door and the frames fit into uh, the tiles etc um, so that, that's that's about it now the detail section I did it'll vary of course on depending on who's doing a dormer and so on and so forth but that's a general spec for a dormer but the whilst the wall might be thinner it's done slightly different it might be slate uh, might be done at an angle uh, because they're done in so many different ways. Doesn't really matter. The principle should be the same. Good old M3 12 mil bolt, uh, top and bottom of the Juliet balcony on both sides, and that should uh, uh, give you trouble free. Uh, give you a trouble free balcony. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. Um, so as I say, when it comes to designing here. Uh, you have the choice really you can design your own Juliet balcony uh, detail section or you can pop along to detailsections.co.uk and you'll be able to download there uh, the, the idea in principle is that um, you can either spend two hours putting all this together or you can uh, uh, as I say, pick it up in a CAD in a CAD here, and then you can also modify and alter it and change it. Sometimes it's nice. Uh, what we do here is, as you can see, I've got another detailed section. So sometimes what we do, well, not sometimes, all the time, what we do is we start off with any old detailed section so that we can harvest some of the bits from it, you know, uh, uh, rather than having to completely redo again. Uh, so we, so you might do the same. Uh, you can see from up here on the photos, I put a few photos in. This is uh, a standard uh, Juliet balcony on a tile dormer. And again, you can see there's big chunks of uh, tile being cut out here to fit. Uh, that's another way of doing it. You can do that. So there's various bits and pieces. And the main thing is, as long as it's fitted and fitted uh, secure, you'll be fine. And again, uh, yeah, this it, it, this one looks quite reasonable. Uh, gaps look like no more than a hundred. Looks about eleven hundred, so I'm sure that'll be fine. The balustrades is different. Uh, using glass, the balcony is using glass. That can be quite neat as well. And again, uh, they need to be fixed really well because people have a tendency to put a bit of weight on it. The lady here in particular, she's leaning on it, so. They really do need to be at the correct height and well fixed uh, but uh, yeah that's fine the other thing is every time you do plans for a loft conversion uh, if you've got a Juliet balcony in the design then you're going to need to put this detail which is a great detail to put in for the builders building control etc um, so it'll be a real useful addition to your loft conversion plans okay that's enough that's enough for this this one um, thank you very much for joining me. Hopefully you've picked up a few details and uh, you got some value from it, from this uh, short lesson. Uh, do leave a comment if you've got anything to say or uh, you got a query. And, and don't forget to subscribe so you can get notifications on more tutorials. Um, hopefully you're progressing well with your AutoCAD or uh, whatever CAD package you're using. But uh, thank you very much. I'll see you on the next video.